Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Kazu here. I'm glad to say that Sunbreak is finally out. If you have Monster Hunter Rise, pick up Sunbreak. It's gonna be a blast. I've been having a lot of fun with it. But anyhow, let's get into the video. In today's video, we're gonna be showcasing Evade Extender and how it interacts with the Longsword. So I am gonna just test out everything with the Longsword, all of the attacks to see if anything is affected by Evade Extender, but we're mainly gonna be looking at Sacred Sheath combo. So let's get right into it. We're going to cut right to the chase, so here is a side-by-side -side comparison of what Evade Extender works with. Does it work with the regular roll? Of course. Does it work with the Ice Spirit Slash? Nope. What about Fade Slash? Unfortunately, no. How about Foresight Slash? Nope. The switch skill swap evade, it certainly does work. And for the Sacred Sheath Dash, well, as you can see here, 4 hop versus 5, it does actually work with Evade Extender. So let's get into a more detailed breakdown of that comparison. As you can see here with the switch skill swap comparison, the first point of evade extender is going to give you about a 50% increase in the distance travel on the skill swap evade, whereas the second and third level will give you an additional 10 to 20% distance travel. Now looking at the sacred sheath dash comparison, the distance traveled when you're doing a forward or sidewards dash as opposed to the backwards dash is going to be about half. So it's a lot more subtle when comparing the dashes here with the different levels of Evade Extender. However, again, you can tell that the first level of Evade Extender is going to be making the biggest difference. However, as the various levels of Evade Extender will change the distance you travel with each dash, you could actually benefit from an additional second level or third level depending on the type of monster you're fighting. In conclusion, both the Switch Skill Swap, Evade, and the Sacred Sheath Dash work with Evade Extender, and you're going to see the greatest amount of benefits with just one point, which is honestly an incredible investment. It's just one two-slot decoration, or it's a very common skill in Talismans. So I highly recommend that if you play Longsword, you have at least one point in Evade Extender if you can afford it. Now, that's obviously going to be contesting with the new skills and even the Wirebug Whisper, which is much more useful with Sunbreak. So, please take that into consideration. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration and comparison. Let me know if you have any questions. And, as always, leave a like, a comment, subscribe. There's going to be a lot more Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak content on this channel to come. So, I hope you guys enjoy and have a good one. I'll see you in the next video.